Hi guys of United World Nations. I'm here with Raj. Hello. Hey. So guys, how are you? Should be. What is your feeling to be in Paris right now? Great. 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 Fantastic. Super cool, super cool. It's my first time in Paris, actually. It's not Peter's first time, but it's my first time. And so good, really good, really nice and amazing. So, uh, Pibi, I have a question for you. In February last year, Victor and Andre left the band. So, after 15 years of collaboration with them, um, it, was a difficult, it was difficult to begin another way to... Uh, how can I say, to... Change rage, you know. Like, was it difficult for you to change to find uh, Marcos and um, like Marcos and Vasilios? Vasilios. Vasilios is lucky, by the way. Lucky. <laughs> we call him lucky. No, it was of course not. I mean, it was my decision. I fired Victor and Andre because I was unhappy with this lineup. It was no way to continue working with them for me. Yeah. And um, the, I had already the idea to. Uh, work with my old friend Marcus. We know each other pretty well already. Same goes for Lucky. I know Lucky since then. 1988. He was one of the drum students from the former drummer Chris Eftimianis, and later he was also his drum roadie. So he was already on tour with us, and we always kept the contact over the years. At this uh, time, at the end of the year 2014, Lucky was firstly basically the manager of Rage already, yeah. and. Um, some coincidences led that he also became the drummer later, <laughs> uh, which is pretty good. I, I, I was really surprised of both of the guys how good it all developed, you know. And um, but in general, it was basically the most important thing for me was at this time to get back this uh, this spirit that the band had, like in the middle of the nineties or so, um, and to get back this kind of kind of um, friendship feeling, so you know, because. <clears throat> uh, all these years before, all these 15 years that I worked with Smolsky and also before Tirana and Hilgers, mm. it was okay, it was a good working situation, but it was more like a, like a business thing, yeah. you know. It was not really a personal thing and um, as long as, we, we, as uh, the respect for each of us was okay, I mean, uh, we, we treated each other, each other okay, you could work in this situation, you know. But it was, of course, not the same like when, you, when you're traveling with friends, you know, with a rock band, you're like, in a marriage, you know, you're not, it's, it's like you're uh, 24 hours you, together. You see each yeah. other 24 hours, and uh, when then the person, the situation is getting bad, and it's really painful, you know. And in the end, uh, in the end of this of this lineup, the last year, 2014, the situation was getting worse, more and more, <coughs> and it was becoming really a pain in the ass to just be with those guys, you know. So I, <coughs> I just realized I have to change something because. Uh, it, it always was my band. I asked them to join my band or the other way around, and I felt already like a stranger in my own band. And, uh, so I thought, this can't be, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I don't want to waste the rest of my life now. I don't know, you now know how long you can do this rock and roll business, you know. And I don't want to waste the rest of my years with just feeling pain, you know. It's just hating what I'm doing, you know. Sure. This kind of be, you know. So I wanted to get back to a feeling that I like to uh, when I get feel the passion for everything again, you know. So it was clear for me I have to change something. And uh, I was kind of lucky that uh, I knew that both guys are, are capable of playing the instruments, but uh, it's uh, the whole spirit develops really good, you know. From from the beginning that we started to be a band, it was uh, just uh, yeah, <laughs> like, like, this, is, this is kind of certain energy, special energy that just uh, leads us, you know, kind of a way. <clears throat> Would you be married with him? <laughs> In a way we are! <laughs> In a way we are! Way we are. All the bands are married. <laughs> so, <laughs> somehow. At least we have a relationship. I mean, we had our friendship already since long before, you know? Yeah. And this is good, you know, when you, have, when you start on a friendship basic and then also have a good working relationship and this all together flows really good. Yeah. It leads you to make really good music. Absolutely. Together, you know? Sure. You cannot do good music when you hate each other, you know? <laughs> um, so now you open a new chapter from Rage, as you uh, just talked before, with uh, two new uh, guys. And uh, but uh, why do you choose to um, to have to record my way, which is a four uh, four track EP, and um, unless uh, you could do a new album, like 
a new sorry a new full length album. We actually we did a new full length album. Uh, My way was chosen from the record company to be already released before as an EP. <coughs> we uh, we gave them some extra songs and bonus material. So um, we had already an output uh, when we started the tour with Halloween because this was a bit, little bit earlier. Uh, we started already in February, I think, this year. Yeah. And uh, we knew the album was going to come a little bit later because, you know, we gave it to New Cameras by the beginning of this year and they always need a while to promote it and to set up their, all their shit, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. so it, it, we just needed something out because we haven't released something with this lineup and it? Uh, to, it would, the record company said it, it's a shame you're going to tour and we have nothing to show sure. what, what this band actually is about. So they just decided to pick up My Way, which is a favorite song of um, of um, and his ear is our A and R guy at Nuclear Blast and he just picked it up and it's going to be the same thing. <laughs> so it's like a previous for the fans? Ah, it's, it's a preview of the fans. It's a preview of the fans. It's like a teaser. It's a teaser from the album. Yeah. Where is the film? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can you tell us about, uh, to, to tell us more about the Devils, Devil Strikes again? Correct. Yeah. Correctly. Yeah. Um, for what's the main difference between uh, the new rage and the other one that you just recalled? Uh, the one before, the twenty yeah. one, I guess. Yeah. So the biggest difference, I would say, is uh, the general spirit, the general energy in this new album, which uh, has this, this kind of spirit that, like the band had in the middle of the nineties on albums like Black and White and the Volcano or so, um, together with a with a very modern freshness. Mm -hmm. um, we are way more straight to the point, more song orientated. Uh, uh, we have this uh, big portion of thrashy uh, energy in the, in the album. We're focused on the songs basically now. Uh, in the <coughs> albums before, there was a lot of extra instrumental shit on there, you know, which uh, is also nice, but it was leading a little bit away from the original spirit that this mm -hmm. band had, you know. Uh, Rage was always known to be a, a straight metal band, you know. <coughs> but, uh, pretty much song oriented and going to the point, you know, with a, with a kind of very raw energy, you know, and not this kind of <coughs> um, progressive light, yeah, yeah. this kind of vibe, you know, which is, I also like progressive, progressive rock, of course, yeah. but <coughs> I mean, if you mix all this, you know, it's leading somewhere else, you know. Yeah, it's not your, your song to... Yeah, bas yeah, basically, I think that also uh, a lot of fans Uh, we're wishing that we would get back to more to this more this, this direct uh, style, you know, not you know this kind of uh, progressive like stuff. You know, it, you know when when you do a progressive rock, you do it like Dream Theater, you know, yeah. and do it really 100%, You know, Absolutely. but when you want to play straight metal, and then you always have come to break out and get, get into the uh, instrumental part in between there, and then go back to the to the to the metal edge thing. You know, this is kind of like. You know, so who do you want to be, guys? You, know, you want to be this or you want to be this? <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't really get it, you know, it's like, like not clear, you know. So I think we're, not, we're way more clear right now, you know. <clears throat> I think, yeah, I understood. <laughs> <laughs> you just go this way and then don't focus on the uh, progressive uh, song. Um, so we, this time, Charlie Bof Bofan, Bof mm -hmm. Bof uh, didn't produce the new album. Exactly. This was very simply uh, at the beginning. Uh, we asked Charlie, and he just had no time for us. He was busy, with, I think, with Bangarin or so. And so. I'm still busy with Bangarin. <laughs> probably still is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I remembered my old friend Dan Swanner from Örebro uh, in Sweden. Uh, I know him already since the middle of the 90s, and we were privately, we were friends back then. And <clears throat> I remember that he's a very good uh, sound engineer, mixer producer so I just asked him would you like to help us with the album you know and he was very excited and yes of course I'm with you guys and I think in the end it was a very good idea because he did a fantastic job on this one it has exactly what this music now needs I think it's very uh, very powerful at the same time and also very natural it is it. and it's a little bit of different approach to the music like what Charlie Bonifant usually does you know he's making everything very clean and clear you know yeah. and uh, then This is also, of course, you hear everything really good, but it says this kind of living aspect more, you know. Absolutely, it's actually, the, rougher, you know? The, the, the concept of the album, when we conceived the album, we were writing, we were pretty clear from the beginning that we want 
as natural as possible. Mm. Even if if we when you listen to the album, you will feel that it's you will feel that it's not played like a hundred percent. It is well played, of course, but yeah. it's not like a hundred percent. Like oh, it's made by a machine or or so many cuts here and there. It's really natural. I mean, most of the drum takes we were like in two or three takes. I mean, no more than that. And it's a pretty natural sound. We try to uh, to tell to them. Uh, now, uh, who was the sound engineer yeah. uh, to keep it as natural as possible, you know, uh, and, uh, and 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 we achieved that that sound, and it sounds pretty natural, pretty pretty heavy and in your face. Uh, so it's not it's not like a, oh my god, it sounds like a machine. No, it sounds really natural and really what you hear is what you get exactly. And still, it has a lot of power. And it's, this, I think this, this is, is the, the thing. This is the, the art that Dan is doing. Uh, it sounds it sounds living, it sounds yeah. natural, and still has the same yeah. power. Like if you want to, if you're using samples or something. Like that. <coughs> still have a sound. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> um, so can you tell us more about the uh, songwritings? Who wrote the songs? Uh, <laughs> me too. We we yeah. we both did it. We, both. We decided to be like Lennon McCartney as a songwriter. That's music. right, so Lennon McCartney. It what was you're talking it about. was from the beginning when we started. Like we were both throwing our, our ideas together, and it was like. We're playing ping pong, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. <coughs> we realized, okay, okay. We, this is like uh, insane, and we, so we <laughs> said, okay, let's let's from the beginning on, let's keep it this way. Everything we do together is black or with Vegas. Exactly. So like Len McCartney, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're really a good team. <coughs> yeah, yeah, we're a really good team. Actually, yeah. the some great process is really, stuff. really, really, really fun and really short. Actually, I could say that we we exactly. we wrote the album. In a very very, it's a record for you to write an album so so in a such a short time, right? Yeah. So I mean, of course, we oh, have connected. I mean, which, which, which time do you? Do so you for know? for everything, we needed like seven, ten days or so. Ten days. Like we wrote the entire album. A bit more than a week. Album. Yeah, not recorded, but oh, right, no, yeah. writing, writing. Yeah, the pre-production. Pre-production. Right. Pre oh, okay. We have everything clear. Wow. In ten days. Everything arranged. Everything. Of course, before we already had some rough yeah. ideas uh, collected, you know. But then making really songs out of this was really ten days fun. max. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was really magical. Like I said in the beginning, yeah, it was really natural, and it, it was all really uh, going with the flow. I mean, it was like. We were doing like we always said, we were doing like sandwiches, you know. We wrote this song, oh my god, this is amazing, okay, let's keep it like that. Next one, we and, 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 and be together in my, my studio for like that, a week, week and a few days more. And this was no work, you know. No this work. was really fun. Fun you know? we and enjoyed it so much. We enjoyed it and we, we didn't want to stop, you know. Like no. his, wife, or four his wife was already like, come on, go, come to bed, you know. It's go to bed, I have food for you guys here. You know? so, <laughs> Alright, now we're coming down, you know, and <laughs> food was cold already. It was cold. Wait, 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 wait. Just let's quickly do this again. <laughs> it was really fun, it was cool. Like, the devil is behind I mean, it was... How can I say... Um, this, yeah, it's not uh, at your ears, just say you some beer you writing and then say okay yeah, the inspiration so the muse was there the inspiration was there and we have yeah. to take the chance and when you have such a, such a rush you have to take the chance of it. that's it sure so let's talk about some songs of the album and the final curtain yeah. is one of our favorite songs of the album oh. can you tell us the um, how do you maybe create this song and then maybe it's like uh, this song just appears like Clearly for you, or you just have some uh, days to uh, some days of reflection to write the songs and then uh, add some parts or something else. This was what we did very quickly, right? So it is one of the. I, 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 I had uh, the refrain. I had, I had all the the the, the, the chord progression the stuff. The chord progression. The chorus, the verses, and stuff, and. Uh, Played it on the uh, usually I play it to him on acoustic guitar. He writes something on an island acoustic guitar. Yeah, he sits with the electric guitar, and just translated every <laughs> translates it on, on the electric guitar, and you had this the, I, the main riff yeah. he had in the same moment when I yeah it's like a, one, you know? yeah he's like I have this verse or something mm -hmm. and all of a see, sudden I see that's my riff so far. <laughs> he was like all right so he had an intro he had an intro yeah like this. I was just like pushing a button and then puff it. It was a connection. <laughs> it's like exactly what I was thinking to do something. And the drums yeah. like this, okay, so probably the drums were this. This was one of 
the fastest one of at least four or five songs of this day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's right. it's a it's a beautiful beautiful refrain. I mean, you know, I admire PB as a the, I call it the king of melodies. So that the melody of the chorus is like a really open, really beautiful. It's like a kind of turn the page. I always I don't know how I can connect this one with turn the page. It's like really like. Would you believe this really open? It's, you know, it gives yeah. you hope. So it's it's a really good song. I would love to do it. And we'll so we we'll see tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tonight it's not going to be on the set list, but in the next tour. It's not the song. <laughs> yeah. yes. um, I we love also the riff from Ocean Full of Cheers. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about the uh, that song too? Maybe it's different or it's exactly the well, same. Ocean. Ocean. I remember that you came up with a with the main riff. Riff start and then <coughs> as I directly started singing on it. Ah, yeah, you start with the melody, it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I have all the sound, and then you so, start like, yeah. like, okay, can you, you do the drums already? So, and while, while this time I'm going down, write the lyrics. Ah, yeah, yeah like, so give me five minutes, yeah. do me a coffee, and then he yeah. goes down. And, he, and then I was like, <laughs> are you ready with the drums? Yeah, I got the drums, so okay, I got the lyrics. Came up again and sung everything. And everything was up. Yeah, I, I came with all this riff, like, P, you have this. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. sounds like, good. So here, good. let's get this chord here. It's after that. Of course, it's this. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. But honestly, it was like that we both were laughing because I cannot believe yes. this. I mean, we were doing only songs like sandwiches, like, and it was pretty cool. It was amazing, man. It was in, in, undescriptable. It's, it's, it's uh, mostly it's like you're starting to play something, and I, and I just sit and say, no, not this chord, this chord. Okay, blah, 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 blah. It takes us like five minutes of discussion, and then we have, we have the basic structure, you know. Yeah, I see it. Um, then another one, back, to, back on the track. Back on track. Back on the track. That's which is a heavy, heavy song for us. Yeah, it's basically a song that reminds me a little bit of uh, even earlier, uh, of the earlier lineup, you know, that I was mining Sweet and Chris and Yeah. Uh, actually, this was the last one we, we did, right? It was the last one, yeah. I have uh, some abandoned ideas of when we take it over and we disarm it. Actually, actually yeah. this, was, this one I think was the most difficult one because yes. uh, we had an arrangement that wasn't really working. And then we were sitting with everybody, with all, the whole band in the rehearsal room, and so we were like kind of stuck. And yeah, we really something missing, it. something's and missing. Then, then I asked, like, what would Chris play there? We, had, we were about the drum arrangement, you know, like, what would Chris have me to play at this point? And, and then Lucky was like, oh, I know pretty good, but he would play that. He just played. And they started playing, and what's <laughs> what? No, okay, what's this, this is it. This That's is going to be it. <laughs> so, tonight you play, you play here in Paris. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, wish you good luck for tonight. And then maybe if you have uh, some plan to uh, go on tour, you know, European tour or yes. something else. My, my, from November on, we're gonna have our own tour, the Devil Tours again, and uh, we already announced a couple of dates, like 15 days or so already yeah. announced, and we are still adding more dates. So yeah. I hope we also get something. Something around here could be yeah. pretty nice. The, the, the negotiation is still open. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, hope to see you soon, maybe in a, with a new album. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, enjoy your show tonight. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Sure. Bye, guys of United Rock Nations. Yeah. See you soon. Hello, my friends. We are Rage, and you are watching us on the United Rock Nations. Be there. Yeah.